знаю, кого еще, как и брат. I know Alexei as my brother. We all got a job to do. We've got to work together to do it right. And uh, I think we're all going to be working together to do that. Cooperation means uh, friendship. Friendship means peace. This is a CBS News special report. Apollo Soyuz, a meeting in space. T minus five seconds. We'll be getting uh, switched to internal power shortly. All of the uh, tanks now pressurized, All right, Tom, and we're switching to line. internal power. Stafford reports he has made the final GDC line. First stage, okay, second Tom. stage, and instrument unit now on internal power. Approaching the 30-second mark in our countdown, water pouring on the flame deflector, now coming onto the uh, deck of the mobile launcher. Everything proceeding smoothly. We'll get a guidance release at the 17-second mark. 20 seconds. The engines will actually start. The engine sequence starts at 3.1 seconds in the countdown. We'll hold down till thrust builds up. 11. Engine 10, ready light on. 9, 10, 9 8, 8, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 4, 4 3, 3, 2, 2 Engine sequence start. 0, one, zero. Launch commit. We have a liftoff. All engines building up thrust. Moving out. Clear the tower. That's beautiful, Wally. Oh, that's a great machine. Takes me back a few years, but I guess you're leaving here in a hurry. Building shakes now. Million six hundred thousand pounds of thrust there. Coming up on one minute with break the blue sky. Oh, that looks good. Falling out three miles in altitude, one mile downrange. Stand by for mode one Bravo. Mark, one Bravo. One Bravo. Cabin pressure relieving as expected, coming up on the region of maximum dynamic pressure. Getting asked, better weather, could we? And we're still, we got a little picture back. there, Wally, of the men in the spacecraft, and there it's a better picture and a good clear one. First time we've ever seen astronauts on liftoff. Might note that we've had pictures of cosmonauts before, uh, but only delayed, never live. And look at this, and that Igor camera, which is uh, downrange, and has that tremendous range, still has the spacecraft and its booster in view. Getting a signal back is quite, quite something. We're going through maximum dynamic pressure right now. Going up to maximum dynamic. Pete Frank getting a status for stage. That comes in another go for two seconds here. Go for stage. First stage still burning. That on board picture is gravely holding up. We have reports that we are losing. Yeah. Some lost data from the crew. Still looking good. Thank you, Tom. First stage burned out. They're separated from the falling. Let's see what they have to tell us. You've had a P U P U shift and thrust is up on S four B, looking real fine, right on the money. Uh, Roger, Dick. Capcom Dick truly advising the crew that everything looks good on the Saturn second stage. And the launch tower no longer needed, uh, has been jettisoned as planned. Now the acceleration is quite low, you notice their arms are moving quite readily. Was that uh, possible uh, in the earliest stages of the launch? Miles in altitude, well, now, 80 the... miles downrange. First part, of course, at uh, very low G, then you build up to that uh, cutoff of the first stage, and they saw about four and a half to five G. And from now on, it's a little over one G. Yeah, it's much like a similar. You're uh, just laying on your back, doing the same as you've done for years, and I might say years, and the similar is at the Cape or in Houston. So they're they're in a very nice, almost tranquil position at this point. Eight miles downrange, 59 miles in altitude. It's reported just a moment ago that the launch uh, tower. trajectory looks good there. Roger, Tom, concur, you're looking real good. Roger. 
And uh, Tom, be advised, we have been dropping out CMC data a little bit here on the ground, but the CMC is go. You're, you're fine. We got a report uh, a moment ago that said everything's going very well. A velocity building up to 9,000 feet per second now. About 30% of that required for minimum orbit. Northern morning on SMR. We report that they lost data from their uh, computer aboard the command module. However, they just got word that it's now go. That's that's great. It's interesting when you think that we're seeing a signal that's sent back to us through the exhaust of this engine. Uh, now, of course, as it goes flatter, we can get a slight angle, but... Well, I guess it was coming up on four and a half minutes or go, and uh, Vance, uh, we think that that was a package tip that was low. It's come up with intolerance now, and you're looking fine. Okay, fine. 4.30, back to 1.6, acceleration, and looking good. That's a 1.0, as he mentioned. Yeah. Apollo now approaching 200 miles downrange, 76 miles in altitude. Everything looks very good trajectory-wise. This is the hardest part we have to imagine. It's just like laying in a spacecraft on the ground. Of course, it's not. <laughs> you, have, you have no physiological sensation other than what you've had all the, the many months of preparation. Uh, and they're going. Houston, at five minutes, you go. Roger, five minutes. Let's go up, Arctic. And they're just checking out instruments and uh, flipping yeah, occasional switches. They've done a thousand times That's in it. simulation. Roger. Wish I could see it. Roger. Yeah, I guess it's worth waiting 16 years for. Uh, Vance is trying to look out the window over his yeah, head. Yeah, beautiful. Here, he's getting I a view of the Earth. I believe all of that. Yeah, that's his first good view of what we call the beautiful Earth. 83 miles in altitude now. Uh, just by that arm to the right, you can see another window with lights coming in. 280 miles window. downrange. Trajectory very good. 530, onboard trajectory. What's the deal? Roger, cut the time. You're right on the money. Five minutes, 45 seconds. Flight Director Pete Frank getting another status report around the room and everything looking good. He talks about getting status report around the room. He's talking about all those various monitors of various systems who are sitting in the big mission control room. We've seen that on... Oh, you right on at six minutes. Let's go pick up speed rapidly. 13,000 feet per second is the current velocity. Yes, the oldest astronaut ever to fly.